Welcome back. This is question 44 from City of London School for Girls. And this question is a cold question, a cold breaker. How do we go about answering this question? Sometimes these are quite tricky and sometimes it's just a case of one clue kind of opens the door for, for the rest. So let's go through this one. Clara has forgotten the passcode for her phone. She knows it contains the digits 0, 4 and 9. And that one digit is repeated. Okay, so we've got a bit of information there. Clara guesses the passcode and receives the following information. Not that this ever happens on a phone. 9004, no digits correct. So when, if it says no digits correct and, it, and then at the same time it says the con password contains 0, 4 and 9, it probably means, we have to kind of presume it means that the digits are correct but not in the right position. Okay, so therefore, we can never have nine zeros in the middle or four at the end. Okay, nine at the beginning, zeros in the middle or four at the end. We can never have that, okay, because it says no digits correct. Then it says there's one digit correct when it's four zero zero nine, two digits correct when it's four four zero nine, and there's also it say here 4990 has three digits correct okay so 4990 has three digits correct and those are our clues okay so we've got to use these clues to work out what the actual code is and so quite tricky I suppose right at first it might seem but as 9004 is totally incorrect that's going to kind of help us and that's going to be something that we have to refer back to. If we know all four of these digits are not in the right position, then that's going to help us for other clues. So let's have a look at the other clues again. 4009 has one digit correct. So that must mean that either 4 is at the beginning or 9 is at the end. Okay, It can't be that both of these are correct, but we do know that it says one digit is correct, so it's either four at the beginning or nine at the end, okay? Then it says that two digits are correct when it's four, four, zero, nine. Now, I know that it can't be this one, okay? It, can't, it cannot be that digit that's correct because we know that zero cannot be in the middle, okay? So it could be the fact that it's four or nine, but only one of these are correct. So I know that both of them cannot be correct. So that must mean that four must be in the center, okay? The first one of the center two. And that kind of helps us because if we know that, then that also means that where it says there are three digits correct here, that must mean that this must be the incorrect one and therefore the other three must be correct. Four, four, nine zero that should be our code and we can double check that with the first one that first clue the first clue says no nine at the, the beginning that's correct there's no zeros in the middle that's correct there's no four at the end that's correct so if there's no four at the end that must mean that um this is perfectly correct we followed that. Then it says that one digit out of 4009 is correct. We've got 4 here, 009. So we're saying that the one digit must be the 4 here. Then it says two dig digits out of 4409 must be correct. And we've got 44 four here. Those are the two digits that we feel are correct. And then it says three digits out of 4990 are correct. And so 4990, 4990, we've got three correct, and that, that nine here is incorrect. And so 4490 would be the code that we would um, input to get into the phone. So I hope that made sense. Um, it really was about kind of this is something that would help us. Um, and then we go through each code kind of decipher which one of those digits would be the most useful. In the first example, 
it was the fact that we had four and nine. One of these are going to be correct. We knew the zeros were incorrect, okay? Um, and so we weren't sure which one. Then the two digits correct, we kind of worked out that it can't be zero and it has to be one of the four and nine. So the other four must be correct. This was a, our third clue, kind of gave us that one. And our fourth clue gave us the rest of the digits thanks to that third clue. And then we can kind of, once we've got a solution, one thing I would do if I was you in an exam, I would definitely go back to the th four um, clues and then go through each one and just to make sure that my final answer is actually correct.